Alright, we got Night Rose and the product stream this week, so let's begin. But first, cards from last week. We got the remaining crit sentinels for Grand Blue, Morikumo, and Dark Irregular. And then we got a double rare Dark Irregular, Demontic Executioner. Grade 2, 9k power, and its skill is Auto Vanguard. When this card attacks a grade 2 or greater, this unit gets plus 5k until the end of battle. Vanguard only? I have no idea why. Second skill. Auto Vanguard Rearguard when placed cost Counter Blast 1, Soul Charge 3, and if you Soul Charge a trigger, draw a card. So this card has its ups and downs. Emblem Master can do a choice Soul Charge while this one is random Soul Charge, but this one has a potential plus 1. And another weakness of Emblem Master is that you have to run play sets of cards while this card doesn't, so both of them have their uses. Next for the Friday stream, we got two rares. Our first rare is a Murakumo, Nun Mass Stealth Rogue. Awatsu. Grade 2, 9k power, and its skills auto rearguard when played. Search your deck for up to one card in your drop zone and shuffle your deck, and this card gets that card's name until the end of the turn. This card literally sets up Yasue and Temma, and also copies the name, which is obviously good for Morikumo. So, yes, this card is really good to run as a 4 up in the deck. Next, we got a Grand Blue, Witch Daughter of the Power Bone, Negro Bone. Grade 1, AK power, and its skill is Act Drop Zone. Cost, discard a card from your hand, put this card at the bottom of the deck, and call one Grade 1 card from your drop zone to rear guard. And if your soul has 10 or more cards, you may call any card instead. This is literally guard fodder, but you could also do a lot of combos with this just by sending this to the drop zone. Especially when you got Kalambar. So run this and at least two of. Next for the product stream, first off we got the 10th anniversary of Vanguard announced at February 26, 2021. Next, Kai is going to start showing off in Card Fight If in Episode 14, along with four Silwick characters that obviously look like Mua, Korra, Naoki, and Shingo, which I really think they're going to replace the current cast that we got. And then for the product release, on October we got Glitter Divine Thunder, which includes Angel Feathers, Gold Paladins, Genesis, and Narukami, along with the cover card, Garvio, which is a strange choice, with the VRs being Gurguit for Gold Paladins. For Genesis, we got two VRs, Holy Heavenly Dragon, Isosinus Dragon, along with Fenrir. Obviously, one of them is for Valkyrian. And then we got a new Dragonic Vanquisher, Dragonic Vanquisher Full Bronto for Narukami, which we will also have No Seal and Dragonic Descendant in this set as well, with Descendant and Valkyrian as the ASRs. At November, we have another Royal Paladin special set, because Royals always get the special treatment, with the Daigo special expansion set for V, which of course includes Sanctuary Guard Dragon. Hey, at least it's a different deck, and I love it. And we also cannot forget Bermuda on December. And then we got a new manga that will start at August 7, 2020, Card Van Vanguard Turnabout, which of course you see Kai and Galard. I really hope the Clutcher Knights are relevant in this story. And finally, we got Card by Vanguard Overdress being the anime for next year. And now for today's stream card, our first card is Thin Mist Banshee. Grade 2, 9k power, and its skill is Auto Rearguard. When placed by a card's ability, this unit gets plus 10k power until the end of turn. Superior call from the drop zone. Second skill, Auto. When retired from rear guard by a card ability, draw a card, and this ability can only be used once per turn. Which will combo with the next card, which is our VR, Vampire Princess of Night Fog Night Rose. Grade 3, 12k power, protect, and the skill is auto vanguard. When your rear guard attacks or boosts, that unit gets plus 5k power until the end of the battle. And then retire that unit at the end of the battle. Which of course will help its second skill, of Auto Vanguard, when this card attacks, cost Counter Blast 1, choose a column, call up to 2 cards from your drop zone to rear guards in that column. And if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, this unit gets plus 10k into the end of the battle. So first skill, clear your board, second skill, call 2 of them back, with an additional attack. It's what I expected from Knight's Rose, multi-attack, retire, and then spirit call in mid-battle, but damn I love the waifu. So that's the last VR revealed for Moonlight Butterfly, hope you guys enjoy this, and now with all the VRs revealed, which one are you most excited for? 
I like Shadowrats for its design, but Yatsue and Harry for its playstyle. That is mine, so what it's yours. And have a nice day.